Why is this? Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's always so weird to start the stream because it says you're streaming, but then it doesn't. It's still gray. Hi. Hello. Troy doesn't want to say hello to you. <coughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. This glorious Sunday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. It's Sunday. No, what the date is is what I meant. Oh, it's like December 27th. Really? Yeah. Hi, Rocket. How's everyone? How was everybody's Christmas? I mean, it's probably weird. Oh. What? You can't see me. Can nobody see us? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. I can see myself. <coughs> Hi, overbooked. Oh. Is your name Maya? I like that. Oh, I really like that spelling of your name. Uh, Trisha. Yes. Yes, it was a very weird year. Um, I guess some people can see us. Maybe try to um, leave and come back, Paul. It's very weird. Hmm. I don't know why it's why I would do that. Um, Rocket, you ordered books with gift cards. Yeah, that's basically the the highlight for me of Christmas season. Yeah, is the gift cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't. That's it's not as shallow as it sounds. It's just you know books. There we are. There we go. Here we are. Uh. <clears throat> so, um, was everybody like, at, you know, at least healthy and stuff for Christmas and, you know, having, did anybody have any good food? We had a very, like, um, like a small like Thanksgiving thanks type. Thanksgiving type Christmas dinner. Pretty yummy. Yeah. Michi didn't receive a notification. Well, that sucks because that probably means a lot of people were waiting for the notification and didn't get one. Oh, Paul, how am I feeling? Um, I feel pretty good. Um, I just have, um, I just have like a constant sinus headache, uh, which really isn't isn't the worst. Trust me. <laughs> um, it probably will be a, just a shorter stream, just because of, you know, I have the headache, but it's really not that bad, all things considered. Um, the first three days were pretty bad, but um, pretty fortunate, all things considered. Hi, Dr. Mango. <laughs> Why is your name Dr. Mango? I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. Tell us more about Dr. Mango. your life as a mango. I mean, that's that's the name. I'm still blown back by um that impractical joker's name. Detective Bluto Mind Pretzel. Bluto Mind Pretzel. Bluto Mind Pretzel. I might it sounds nutritious and delicious and dynamically fantastic. That's absolutely that's good, true. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> absolutely. I was I was thinking it was gonna be, you know, oh. Hashtag Troy's the coolest. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you see all the comments in the last I did. Video? I did. And my heart is warmed. Um, I'm glad that you are. Uh, you guys are acknowledging that I am the coolest. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not the coolest. I mean, I'm the coolest. I would argue. <laughs> I would argue. I mean, there's a hashtag for it, and <laughs> everyone knows. The everyone knows if there's a hashtag for it, it's true. And uh, yeah, so let's everything, get that. Let's get that trending on on Instagram. Everything the internet says. Hashtag true. Troy is the coolest. Let's get it trending. I want to look up hashtag Troy is the coolest and actually find <laughs> pictures. I mean, we could make our own pictures and put the hashtag Troy is the coolest. I'm just going to blast Instagram. I'm going to destroy their algorithm. Uh, Rocket said she made a big breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? I could have gone for a big breakfast, but I didn't really have the energy to make a big breakfast. So. Also, did you know 
that antlers fall off every year. Most people don't know that. Off of like of every off of like everything with thing? antlers, or just deer or reindeer, because and when you say fall off, I think I knew. Well, I thought it was like a thing. Antlers fall off and horns don't. Oh, okay. So antlers fall off, but horns don't. Okay, okay. So if a so a male like a male buck has to regrow their antlers every year. Is that what you're saying? Very interesting. Uh, Rocket said He's pancakes, bacon, eggs. Mixed fruit. Oh, Ooh, God. that's like that's like the uh, that's like uh, the picture perfect breakfast. Yeah, when I'm sick, I really crave fruit, and my grandma got uh, dropped off a care package. Hey, Hala, we're glad that you fruit. caught the live this time as well. Yeah, hi, Hala. Moose, caribou, elk, reindeer. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I I think I sort of knew that because I feel like I remember like people saying. That they would collect like antlers they found or something. I found that's pretty neat. Yeah, like antlers that have fallen off and and like I don't. I feel like I was weirdly like I was there for some sort of debate about like it's not the same if you if you collect antlers that have fallen off and you haven't. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like well, I was. It's, it's neat because it's like <laughs> I don't know. No, you know nothing against hunting, but like if you like want to. There's if like you, a way I would that love there's to a, go and collect some Well, there's antlers. a way that you could literally just yeah, collect just antlers. Go. It's pretty interesting. I want to... Is that... Wait, is that the same thing as like when they rut or whatever? Is that like the same? Like what? when they like... They put their antlers on the tree. Like like that. <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> when they kill like asking the, Are you asking them or are you asking I'm me? asking anybody. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, overbooked had... Or my, Maya. I don't know why I keep calling her overbooked. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls and a breakfast casserole that had sausage, gravy, eggs, and hash browns for Christmas dinner. Oh. If you don't mind oh, me asking, man. where do you live? Sausage do you gravy. live in, in the, you know, United States? States or um, just wondering, like, you know, where can I get that? Is that a common thing? I don't know. Uh, Dr. Mango said, did you know in 1910, 40% of all automobiles were electric in America and Jay Leno owns a baker a, it's a beautiful electric car, and I want it. Didn't I? Didn't know any of that, including that you wanted it. But, this is this is all very. But now I know. This is why he's Doctor Mango. This is why he's Doctor Mango because he knows these things. He knows what's up. <laughs> he knows these um, facts. Hala said, "Are you going to catch on the 2021 book releases? Catch on, ca what? Like, 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 um, get them? Is that what you mean?" Um, Paul said, I've eaten lots of chocolate. Tis the season. It is tis the season, yes. It is tis the it season. It is tis the season. English. <laughs> Very redundant. <laughs> it is tis. It is. It is tis, tis, tis the season. I, um, it is tis its. I was eating a lot of chocolate, and then I got sick, and then it was like, eh, I don't want chocolate. <laughs> chocolate is not something that I personally want. I'm, I'm still sick. eating a lot of food. Um, <laughs> Maya said, I live in the United States. And you just get all the ingredients separate and put it together in a casserole. Fair. That's pretty. That's Fair. yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's I really, I love a good breakfast casserole. Ooh, anonymous reader, do it. I want to hear those, oh, those yes. random, facts. Some random facts. That's that's what this 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 stream live is about stream is just random facts. facts. Anybody, look up a fact right now. Put in. I just sixteen of you. Give me a fact. Did you know, I need to learn some stuff. Did you know there's eighty eight constellations and eighty eight piano keys? I did know that there were. I did know that, yes. The uh, constellations? I not the constellations, the 88 pan pan piano keys. That's interesting, though. But there's an, it's an interesting thing that it's that correlates, <coughs> you know. You know, because the universe is just a song waiting to be told. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, those are the 88 constellations we can see. Just saying. Well, uh, well... I mean, yeah. <laughs> what if there's like more life out there, man? What if there's a whole nother universe and galaxy? Probably. I mean, there's other galaxies, but. Anonymous re uh, reader said a female hyenas have a pseudo penis. Highly intriguing. <laughs> <That's> Why? <laughs> Why do they have that? <laughs> Is 
that like a is that a survival thing? Why do they need it? Why didn't they need that? I'm just wondering. Yeah, I'm very. Con- That's a great fact, though. It I is interesting. That. It's interesting. Did you know Mark Ruffalo is deaf in one ear? I did not know that. And that's so funny because we just watched or we rewatched Thor Ragnarok because we're watching all the Marvel movies in order. And I was just saying how much I love Mark Ruffalo because I used to watch him a lot in 13 going on 30. And I said that every time I see Mark Ruffalo in a scene <clears throat> as the Hulk, it like makes the scene so much better. So that's amazing that he's deaf in one ear. Very interesting. Do you know why? Was he, was he born that way or did something happen? Oh, okay. Oh. This surgery to remove a brain tumor. Oh, my gosh. Well, then. I had no idea that was even a thing. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Wang said, I believe Devil's Tower in Wyoming looks like an anti antediluvian. Antediluvian. I could not read that. My eyes went really blurry there. <laughs> Ancient petrified tree stump. Hmm. You have to look up Devil's Tower. Yeah, I don't... I don't also, on that note, is Devil's Kettle a real thing? Is that a thing? Devil's because kettle. it's from, it's, well, maybe, or, I don't know. Um, well, I got lost. Okay. Um, Paul said the, the lyre bird <coughs> can mimic almost any sounds it hears, including chainsaws. Oh, that's so weird. I'm going to look up a It clip. does look like a gigantic piece. Show them. Why would I show them? They, they, Why? You can, well, just they show know what them. it looks like, I think. Oh, it actually showed up pretty nice. Yeah. I thought it was going to glare. That's why I didn't want to show it. Yeah, it does look like a petrified tree stump. Um, but yeah, I need to listen to a bird that sounds like a chainsaw. That's pretty interesting. A what? It's what a, is it's happening? It's called a lyre bird, and it can mimic almost any sound it hears, including chainsaws. Oh, dude. It's like a real-life mockingjay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hollis said, "Are going? Are you going to film what you got for Christmas?" Um, I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably do another book shopping thing. You know, um, I don't know about this month. I don't, I don't think I'm can. I'm over my period of contagiousness, but I'm probably not going to be going anywhere for a while. But I still want to do that video with you, where you get me, where you pick out books. Oh yeah, and I think that would be fun, but. Um, that probably is what I'll do. Uh, yeah, I yes, I love thirteen going on thirty. I've loved him since then. I had yeah. the biggest crush on him. He was like the most handsome person in that movie ever. I loved him so much as a as a kid. He was an absolute yeah. He was an act. He was just a stud. I loved him. Okay, uh, Rocket said I finished Kingdom of the Wicked a week ago and it was so good. Just so you know. To have snacks at the ready, the way they talk about food in that book will make you so hungry. Oh, I man. just, yeah, I finished it. Um, I also finished it right before that's sick. And, um, yeah, the food in that book <coughs> was probably the best part. And it made me very hungry. They talk about, um, oh my gosh, cannolis, I think. Cannolis. The cannolis especially, I was like, oh, I could really, really go for some pastries. Um, the earth is also called Midgard. Yeah. Knew that. Yeah. Knew I that know at that. least. I did Norse, know that. Norse, uh, yeah. Good old Norse. 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 Good old Norse Norse. Uh, I need an answer. It is theorized that the dominus, dominance and morphological phenotype of a pseudopenis observed in female hyenas is due to the presence of prenatal and postnatal androgenidine levels. So it's so it's more of a so does it serve a purpose or is it just because they have those levels? Yeah, it could be just it's something just that kind happens. Of a thing. Your nostrils work one at a time. Do they? Right now they do. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> really? How does that work? I don't know. I just look like an idiot for like full, the solid ten seconds. Hog can hold its pee for up to eight months. That's interesting. That's why? interesting that a frog would have to hold its. Yeah, pee. why? Did do, 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 do that? Maybe to like store nutrients or something. Animals are smart. 
Dr. Mango said Pokemon is all about wizards conjuring demons. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean... Yeah, and kinda. animal cruelty, kind of, in my opinion. I don't know, monster cruelty. Well, well because they're demons, you know? Why do we gotta treat them? Let's <laughs> abuse them. No, no, no. It is no, it is pretty uh yeah. Although it starts getting sketchy when like you you're like, oh yeah, wizards conjuring demons, and then one of them's an ice cream cone. You're kinda like <laughs> All right, well Yeah. I... There's that. Um they run the shite basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um Maya said I'm playing Stardew while watching this and it's the best part of my day. Oh, Maya. The best part of my day as well. Oh, thank you. As well, yes. <laughs> also, Stardew Valley. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Bethany plays that. Really? Yeah. Is that an MMO? I don't know if it's an MMO. It's like, I don't know. Actually, I'm not even going to speak on that. You, you could speak on that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's like a... Uh, I, could be com I could be completely wrong. But it sounds like... Uh, what's that? Harvest Moon? Like that kind of game? I also don't really know what that is, unfortunately, but I've heard of it. Like like a like a like a farm. Like a farm, farm kind of farm bill. Isn't that what it was called? Farm bill? Yeah. The Facebook game? <clears throat> yeah, like it's like kind of game. Like you farm stuff and you do stuff and it's fun. Oh and it's very peaceful. Oh, is well is it kind of is it kinda of like is it kinda of like Animal Crossing then? Yes, there we okay, go. Okay, I was there Farmville was more relatable. More relatable. <laughs> um Animal Crossing. Mm. Dr. Mango said, have you ever heard of Alistair Crowley? Yes, I have. I... Remind us. Yes, remind us, exactly. Drop some facts on Drop us. some facts. I can't exactly remember. Um, he's... I know... Paul said he's working through the Grisha novels. I'm about 100 pages into book two. It's not the greatest fantasy series. No, I totally agree, yeah. Um... Grisha, the Grisha series is not, like, considering how how highly I think of Leo Bardugo, the Grisha series is not, um... It really isn't, man. Yeah. I'm happy that you're reading it, though. I'm still, I'm, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'll admit to everyone on here, I'm still kind of a loser, and I still have to finish Rune and Rising, but it's just, I should probably just jump to another book and then come back to it, but, like, I have a hard time doing that. Like, I have this code in my head that's like, if you don't finish the book, you can't read another book. So then I just don't read, and then... It's called book guilt. Yeah. But it, it is... I, I don't know. The third book's... third book's pretty good. It is... Eh. I don't remember... It's definitely better than the first book. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't remember much from the books, honestly. Um, I just know enough that when things are sort of... When things are referenced in Six of Crows, I was like, ah! I'm like very excited. Oh, you met her. You met what? her? When did you meet her? Did you go to a signing? The only author I've ever met is Maggie Steepwater. She was she's an interesting she, uh, interesting person. I'm You said she was very wow. cool. She yeah, she's cool. Like she's just like black eyeliner, I got a race car. I yeah. don't know. Like I don't even know how she I don't I think she was maybe like hatched. As she was, <laughs> and just came into the. <laughs> she plays bagpipes too. Oh wow! And um, rides horses. Uh, he was a sorcerer that conjured up spirits and demonic forces. He worked for the government um, with children. Which is from Stranger Things. Like he worked with the children from Stranger Things, I guess. Like the recent Stranger. I would assume. Well, that that matches up with what I thought he was. So, um, which was some sort of. Some you can't sort have a last name. Magic. You can't have a last name Crowley and not be a. Well, isn't he the reason why Crowley is like a? Isn't he the reason Crowley as a last name is like has that connotation of like dark magic or whatever, right? You keep or looking at me, I don't, I don't know. I, don't know I just you said I don't that, know what's and I happening. just thought. I just thought you know. You're tapping into my knowledge of dark magic. I, I, <laughs> You're not supposed to talk about that on stream. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, book signing? Okay, all okay. right. 
um why weren't like was she was she like standoffish like what was up what was she like i actually to be fair when i say that i'm a big fan of leah bardugo i do follow her on instagram but i never look at her like personal posts you know i only see if i see anything at all i see like the shadow and bone trailer like i never <laughs> i never see anything about her um my turn saying yeah. hey y'all hey what's up my turn uh, what? Highwick. Show me the screen. This is a trick. I feel like it's one of those. Uh, Highwick. Show. Bowls queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the winter soldier. I'm Bucky, just like <laughs> being released. Doctor <laughs> Mayo said eleven. Eleven. Oh. Eleven, the oh, character. Okay. 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 Uh, Brad said, "How was it having COVID nineteen?" <clears throat> well, uh, so I'll say right here that I did not go to any gatherings, so it wasn't um, it wasn't like a I don't know how I got it. <laughs> I will say that right here. I don't know how that happened. So that was it. Was obviously a surprise. My mom got it first. Um, and she started with, uh, like, cold symptoms, you know, um, and then, like, a lot of muscle aches and stuff, and then it, she had it for a couple days, and then I started getting symptoms, and it started with, like, a, like a sore throat, and it doesn't matter what kind of sickness I have, I can always tell that I'm about to get sick if I have a sore throat, even if, like, it's not a typical symptom to have a sore throat, so I got sick, I had a fever, body aches, uh, nausea, <laughs> a lot of, you know, and my stomach gets really easily upset. So, uh, yeah, it was just a, it was a battle with, with the fever and the um, <clears throat> congestion and everything and trying to stay hydrated uh, as much as I could so that I wouldn't have to go to the hospital or anything. See you, Dr. Mango. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for giving us like really neat random facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm more well informed now. Yes, tune in again. We want to hear more facts. Uh yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of it. <laughs> uh so You're not allowed to be. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you had COVID-19. Um Paul said, yeah, she basically just sat there and had everyone talk to her, did nothing to sell her books, questions about what Starbucks drink would your characters be made us made us real oh sorry <laughs> made us realize we weren't meant to be there oh so she was kind of like prima donna y that sucks that really does suck that does suck well to be fair i guess i don't really go to any book signings anyway so i probably will never <laughs> meet her anyway <laughs> but um yeah we do need to go to book con I would love to go to BookCon, but who knows when that's going to happen now. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Um, Just break my feelings in, in one swoop. <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah. And, and then I was sick for a few days, and I got better, and now I just have this perpetual headache. And I'm almost done <coughs> with my... They say that after you get the test... Um, that's you have like 10 days that you should be completely quarantined so i don't know if we'd not already bought ninth house we'd not have stayed oh well i will say that ninth house for me would have been absolutely worth it the, well the writing she's, the writing's oh yeah, yeah she's, the writing's I mean, up there for like her like more adult yeah centered yeah, can't Stuff. can't speak to how she is in real life, but Ninth House was an absolute blessing to my eyes this year. Yeah. It sucks that she didn't she wasn't like happy about selling it though. Because <laughs> she could have sold a lot more and people would yeah. you know, would be buying it more, but all right. So since we're about thirty minutes in, I think it's time to announce the winner of the giveaway um maybe normally i would have like 
<clears throat> had a sign or like a poster or something with like the name on it. <laughs> that would have made sense. It would have, but you know what? I don't have any craft supplies as long. I can go to Walmart <laughs> to get any. So, um, so it is. Pretend there's a poster here. Yeah, we just put no. Okay. That's, oh, I'm sorry. There, okay, that's and where I'm and it says and it says Rocket Reads. Oh! The sign exploded. Uh, that's why it's not here. Yeah. And um yeah, so it was it was funny that she was the first person to say anything in the chat because, you know, it was hard for me not to say anything just right there. But Yeah. Yeah, it is you. Congratulations. You win. Yay! <laughs> what, what weak clapping. I know. I'm so sorry. But like I mean, I guess you're Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, you. you won. <laughs> I was really happy when your name popped up when the um, generator thing. I was like, makes perfect sense. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. I'll, I'll message you on Instagram, Instagram and, uh, you know, get, Instagram. get your information. Uh, and I hope that when you're finished putting it together, maybe you can post what it looks like. <laughs> I would love to see. I would love to see it. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, speaking of Instagram, um, did any of you see my last picture? Uh, because <laughs> I also put it on my story. I need you guys pay attention. Listen. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see the picture? Because I swear, I swear on the picture, it literally looks. You look at the bottom right. It looks like a person. It looks like a person. Let me see that. It does. It, does look it looks like, like a, person. a person. Yes, it does. Look. It's like the eyebrow and the eye. No. It, it does. If it looks like anything, it looks like the eye of a goblin, which is like... Maybe Already. there's a goblin. Maybe it is. Maybe there's an imp just flying around. <laughs> I swear it does. It's not a person. I even zoomed in. If that was a guys. person, you know what it looks like? It looks like the tell tell me I'm not wrong, okay? Look in the corner. He before, thought it was true. No, 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 no. He before before Troy. you guys get freaked he out, look in the bottom corner. <laughs> tell me that doesn't look like the top like eye, like the the half of black mask. From it's, DC, it it, it, it looks, looks like looks black like mask. It looks like no, it looks like someone wearing like a military it, mask. That should scare why, you even more. That should I, scare you even what, more. What? There's like a spec op soldier dead, like on our <laughs> like around here yes. for some reason. Yes. He's like, I'm I'm here for Troy. It does. It looks like a person. Hashtag I'm here for Troy. I don't think it's a ghost. I'm just saying it. It looks like a person. It's it's your it's your it's your arm. And listen. it's a speck of dust that was on the <laughs> screen of the computer. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. Yeah, that's the problem here. No. That's the problem here, listen, Brad. Man. I'm dating Brad. a demon shifter. <laughs> Brad, listen. <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to mind your own business, Brad. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> Hey, another hashtag. Where? I'm here for Troy. Where? The, the, the newest comment. Oh. Hashtag I'm here for Troy. Oh, okay. That's what the ghost is saying. <laughs> um, and Brad is exposing my demonic nature. <laughs> it does look like a person. I don't care what you say. Someone brought up... Brought Even up, if it's not you brought a up person. You brought up my cultic affiliation. He brought up my... my... Yeah. I'm, I'm done with this. Last time we talked about your uh, romance. One of you, any game, my pick. I'll see you on the streets of Cooking Mama. <laughs> oh no, you're done, done for. You're done for. <laughs> oh no. If there's anything I know how to do, it's how to digitally cook. His demonic skills give him <laughs> an edge. Give him an edge in Cooking Mama on, on DS Light games. <laughs> I don't want to play the newest Cooking Mama. Let's take it back. Take it back. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a whole thing. But yeah, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just thought, you know, we brought up Instagram and I had to point that out because yeah. that was not that was a light argument before the stream started. Also, Brad, to address your question earlier I uh, about nonfiction books, I oh, don't really? think you've read 
nonfiction nonfiction ones? recently? Uh, no, I haven't read any nonfiction recently. Um, no, unfortunately. One of my favorites, though, is um. <coughs> oh crap! Uh, <laughs> the invention of solitude by Paul Auster. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like creative nonfiction, so it's not. <clears throat> it's it's like a creative memoir, very like. Uh, would you consider that book by um oh my gosh he's like super funny he's like oh my gosh trevor noah yeah yeah i like That's that nonfiction. that was really cool yeah that was really neat uh, um audio well, it wasn't even to. just funny it was like very like it was just really neat it was, sad. I mean. it was yeah it was like <laughs> life it was life yeah. but he is very mature <laughs> about you know life i love you guys so much i'm from saudi oh, arabia oh hey wow hi what did you say uh, like well that? i was gonna go, go into saying <laughs> raha but <laughs> hi <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. hi thanks thanks for tuning in yeah thank you for tuning in <clears throat> how's the weather over there how's everything going how's the weather how's over the there weather? it's a good question i guess good... i am curious because it's different. i feel like i wish you know when um i don't know what winter is like everywhere else i do too and I also, you know, when um, I think we remember Periscope, it was like an app of um, where you could, it was like an app and it was like people could live, like live stream from basically like all over the world. And you could, it was like a globe and you could just click somewhere. Uh, um, I used to love that app because I like, I just like to like get a sneak peek into like what people are doing like around the world. Like, what do you, like, yeah. what's happening? Like, even if you're just sitting on the couch, like, what's the like? Yeah, what's the weather going? like? Which, what are you doing? You know? I don't know. I just, I just also, get curious. Brad, yes, I also, I also tend to forget that game exists, but it's like my reserved game for like making a joke about. So if I say I'm like really good at something, I almost immediately sarcastically uh, refer to Cookie Mama. I used to love Cookie Mama when I was. It younger. was a. It's. A, they have a new one. <laughs> they have one for the Switch. Really? Yeah. Is it like they brought it back? So like high def, or is it like? Well, any game on the Switch is high def. Yeah, but it's like, like you're playing how on a high television. Def. High, high high. Pretty def. good. It's it's yeah, it's like an updated Cookie Mama. Hmm. I would like that, unless it's still designed for like seven year olds. First of all, that game was not designed for seven year olds. If you were no no, if you were seven and you're playing that game, kudos to you because the what the, were you playing it on? The motion Very control. Hard. The motion control on there. Master. I, 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 I play I, everything on the expert <laughs> difficulty. I'm sorry. I'm just cool like that. But I never never had any issue with it. Hooking them. Rock Band. Rock Band on expert difficulty. You know, you play it on anything else. You're kind of like... <laughs> well, I used to play Guitar Hero. On easy? No. First of all. First of all, you're wrong. On, uh, all, on medium? Mm. <laughs> just wait till this stream is over. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> you just wait. Um, also, yes, you should read... Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I love actually Trevor the, Noah. the the audiobook is great because isn't yeah, it him? It's him? It's him. Yeah, it's him retelling. Yeah, it's it's amazing because you get like the best of both worlds. You get like his story, but yeah. like you get it like from his exact perspective because he's yeah. telling it. So yeah, it's it's, it was it's really a good. really good audiobook. Like I said, it was very like it's very funny. Yeah, but it's also very real. sad, very and real. real. It's and, his life. Um, yeah. And I mean, nothing's better than your own story told in your own voice. So yeah. it's really, really good. I always like when comedians like get really real and talk about like their actual life. And then you're like, okay, I could appreciate, you know, yeah, more like Doesn't the stories Tina that Fey come have up. one. Probably. She does. Probably. Somebody else. Also, Amy a lot Poehler. Of people, Amy Poehler. A lot of people. Have, Amy Poehler's funny. Yeah. She's awesome. I haven't read I haven't read any of those before, but I've no. heard good things about them. Yeah. But I think for me, um, if I was going to read any more like com 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 comedian memoirs or bio or you know autobiographies, then I would probably um, want to uh, listen to them on audiobook. Um, and those are great for like car trips and stuff, which won't be happening for a while. So. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you used to get home at, from work at four in the morning. Phone Trish over <clears> in the <throat> states and be told she'd not move for six hours because she was playing Guitar Hero. And I said, 
<laughs> hey, listen, sometimes it just calls, you know, sometimes. especially on expert, because when you play on an easier difficulty. <laughs> I played Guitar Hero on expert. I'm just kidding. I did. I used to play. Um, I'm kidding. I... So I, when I really got into Guitar Hero, and some people might say this isn't the same, but I didn't have, like... I played on my um, DS, and they came with an attachment that you plugged in, and it was like the same um, the same uh, colors, but it was like you put your hand into it, and you had to do it that way, and um, that's when I really started to to like Guitar Hero, and I got into it. It's different. It is different. It's different, but it's, it's the different. same. It's the same. It's different, but the same. It's condescending. Listen, man. Condescending. All I'm saying is, I miss Rock Band. <laughs> <laughs> of all the games to get a, like a remaster, or, like to be able to, like I know you could probably play it like backwards compatible on the Xbox, but like, come on, like why? Why not make like a PS5 or PS4 Rock Band? Like it's a good game. I'm surprised they don't because it's not or, like it's a. Or make it easier for all the game libraries to tra or the song libraries to transfer. Because I remember playing Rock Band 3 and I, there were songs I loved from 1 and it was like, you need a digital code that you can only get from an original copy of Rock Band 1. I was like, who just has a copy of Rock Band 1? Like, just lying around. So I got a used copy and guess what? It didn't have the code. So I was like, awesome. And then I contacted like customer support. I was like, Harmonix, can I have a code? They're like, sorry boss, you gotta buy it. And I'm like, dude, no one else plays your game. <laughs> Just send me the code. <laughs> Why don't they make new ones? I think there's a Rock Band 4. Now that I say it, I think there's a Rock Band 4 for PS4. I could be wrong. But, like, my problem is, like, you... I don't know. The songs, like, change. And... What about Dance Dance Revolution? Where'd that go? I don't know where that game I liked. Went. I liked Dance Dance Revolution. They just made a, they made a new Just Dance, though. They did. They just made they a did. new Just Dance. Or it's not out yet. I don't know. It's a new one, though. 2021 i think so oh 2021 oh, yeah i mean but it's not really the same it's not just dance is very motion yeah it's you know. like ooh, yeah you know. ooh, you, uh. whereas dance dance revolution <laughs> is just like uh man it's your you gotta feet. be like it's yeah, yeah yeah you gotta, yeah I, like I can't do dance dance revolution i wasn't unless, good at you'll, it you'll hear that sound that you heard in that one video in london <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I will break. I will literally break, dislocate both my <laughs> knees trying to do Dance Dance Revolution. Oh god! I couldn't even imagine trying to play that game. It was fun though. I haven't played Dance Dance Revolution since I was probably like eleven or something. 10. It's just it's one of those like that and like now for me like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. It's something I don't play unless like the bi-yearly trip to Dave and Buster's like well okay like it's bi-yearly like every two years we're like let's go to Dave and Buster's and then we go <laughs> once and we're like let's keep our tickets so that we can come back and get a bigger prize and we just never come back <laughs> do we still have our tickets I'm pretty sure we do but I I do can tell you right now I don't know where my card is because <laughs> that's what you gotta you have to keep your card and I don't know where it is so Pocket said, I thought about playing a game after this. I needed a break from reading. Yeah. Uh, what what do you kind think, of games do you have? What do you think about playing? I I could I haven't been I haven't read for a week. So I probably I'm probably not I'm definitely <laughs> I'm probably done for the year. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> also you, you got some shade. It's right not there. the same. Yeah. Playing playing DS guitar hero. Listen. I could play. Listen, we there's, don't there's, all have room. No, no, no. I will say play. this. I will say this. I, I once for no reason. I don't think there was any reason that I did this because I didn't get a trophy for it or anything. I once played. I think Mr. Brightside, uh, with like the blind mode on, so it like takes the track away, and you you just play. <laughs> and I I was able to play Mr. Brightside from memory. Doom Eternal. Highly recommend this game. Doom Eternal. <laughs> that's to that's to take a break from reading and, and de stress. De -stress. I agree. <laughs> Running around busting the heads of demons. Yes. Yes. 
No better way to demon hunting. To relax. No, 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 nay, demon slaying. Because you're the Doom Slayer. That game's really fun. There's something about like, there's something about like I do listen to like all types of music and like mostly rock, but like all types of rock. But like, there's something about like metal playing while you're like just smacking things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty I, fun. I personally have not played Doom, but it's pretty fun. I but it is. A bit. It does. It does. There are times where like I had. <laughs> I once sat and played Doom for like three or four hours and I had like an intense, like my eyes were burning out of my head because it's so like, you're just running around. You're running around, shooting, you're jumping around, switch your weapons, you run out of ammo, you punch, you, you rip and tear. You rip and tear? Yeah. Um, Rocket said, I found a shadow, oh, I found a copy of Shadow of the Tomb Raider for Xbox One at the used bookstore. So I might start that or replay The Witcher 3. Oh, that's Ooh, such a hard, hard choice. That's hard. That's hard right there. Tomb Raider is one of my favorite game series. I, I ruined her chance to ever play the DLC of The Witcher 3. Why? I don't even remember what it was. So. Oh, you did! Not on purpose. Not on purpose. So, yeah. so most games, when you buy like a complete edition, it just kind of upgrades the base game. And you can like transfer the data for some reason. CD Projekt Red, and I love them. I'm not throwing shade. You know, Cyberpunk's a fun game, even though they're kind of wacky right now with the bugs. But they, for whatever reason, made the decision to make it so your save couldn't be transferred. So I got her the complete edition, which in the PlayStation Store locks her out of the other DLC that she you could buy because she owns it now on her like uh, PSN name and. Yeah. Then we downloaded it, and it was like, start new game. And we were like, what does that mean? So then I contacted them, like, direct customer support. And they were like, the best we could tell you is to, like, they told me this whole thing, and I never did it because I was like, that doesn't even make sense. They told me to, like, extract, like, the game data or something from her PS4, delete it. But I'm like, it's on her PSN account. Like, why does not, why doesn't anyone understand that? It's, like, on her account. I can't delete her account. Yeah, um, I'm screwed with that. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I tried my hardest. It's okay. It's I okay. tried but my absolute hardest. Just start truth. a new game. No big deal. I... You barely you barely traveled around Skellia. You're fine. <laughs> I barely... What yeah, are you talking yeah. about? My... What? Barely. I literally spent... Mm, I spent barely. so no, 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 long no, 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 just no, no, trying no. to complete all the question no, 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 marks no, no, for no, some no, reason. No. I thought it would be a cool idea if I complete all the question marks, which, by the way, is not a good goal. It sucks. There's too many question marks. I don't even know why I thought Listen. I should do that. So I already... I already been doing that. I've already been doing that for Listen, so long. Man, I'm sorry. Okay. I can't, I can't restart. I ruined everything. I can't. Also, yes, Brad. The Doom soundtrack... The Doom soundtrack has powered me through uh D D like uh dm planning i listen to it and i imagine uh all the battles i'm gonna force my players oh. through oh yeah all the battles i'm just gonna i throw in their face paul said i watched the section in witcher 3 where roach can talk and now needed to be in the show oh i feel like i remember that i feel like i remember I feel that like too. i remember that yeah good old roach travis said you both are doing amazing jobs you guys <laughs> Your guys' content is amazing. Happy holidays. Can you guys swap glasses when playing a game? Oh, like, like play a game. With the other person's glasses, glasses? How bad is your... Give me your glasses. I'm about to go blind, everyone. I bet you're... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm... Whoa. It's so bad. Wait. I'm going to do it for like a second because it's really... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> you look Harry Potter! <laughs> 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 I'm so small! <laughs> <laughs> Run! They're... Dude, I'm Harry... Oh, Your my... glasses are crooked! Dude, I can't... I... Yeah, they're crooked. They're Excuse really me. Crooked. Are, are you? Why don't you fix them? Dude, I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't not squint, squint with your glasses on. They hurt. 
Oh. oh, what is your what is your site? What what is what is happening there? I have a lot of ha stuff happening here. I oh, I no. don't have a good vision. Oh. Really. <laughs> Sorry. That, that like altered my uh, the the anatomy of my eyes. I'm so <laughs> Um I'm a wizard. <laughs> yes. Oh, John said hello. My car is still waiting. Yeah, I know. John. I had to take some time off because of the sickness, but now we have to go back to work as as uh, car cleaners. <laughs> John, I'll tell you what. I'll go I'll go clean your car, but please, please make sure there aren't any kangaroos around because we've been watching some stuff. Oh my god. We've been so watching scary. some videos, man. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> <sighs> we saw a picture of a kangaroo in a lake. And it was just the, <laughs> it was it was just the kangaroo from here up, and um, I don't know if they were. I think they were joking. They just they just a hundred percent look like like a human was fused with like a deer yeah. or something. It's like just, it's a it's like a bodybuilder was was fused yeah, with a deer. Yeah, a bodybuilder. Yeah, a not body, a normal human. A, a very builder. muscular human. <sighs> Paul said, that sounds like me playing Spider-Man. I've got all the backpacks and been to all the locations, played hardly any of this story. Okay, that is 100% me in any game where it's, an, it's an, like an open world, like a city or town or something. Um, I like, I still have to beat uh, Assassin's Creed 3. I'm playing the remastered version now. The original version, I never beat because as soon as I could, I just started looking for all the like viewpoints all the like, I was chasing all the the pages, uh, yeah, doing every side quest I possibly could, doing courier missions. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Assassin's Brotherhood is just waiting there. They're like, we need to take down the Templars, and they see me running around like grabbing feathers. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, me. that's kind of, like what I did with Witcher is I got to the very end of the main story, not the very end. I was like right at the final battle, and I was like, I don't want to finish. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know why I thought this. I was like, I don't want to finish the game because I want to complete one? Witcher. Oh yeah. Because I want to. I want to. I want to find all the question marks for some reason. There's a post game. I know. I. That's, that's why it's. Any that's the funniest part. But like the fun. The funniest, funniest part is that I knew that there was a post game. I just like felt like, like I had like I was like no I can't finish the game until I so yeah and then I spent way too long going to try to find every single question mark which isn't worth it by the way because it's not like you it's not like they're good it's not sometimes like it's... <laughs> you run into them and it's just like a, like it's, a, not... it's like a, a like a necker uh nest or Most something of the time. or like, a, like or there's or you run up and there's just like 50 drowners standing around like like, like one, a chest one chest that with has... a sword that's not as good as the one you i have. know it, it's it was made no sense because i was at the point in the game that i was in it was i learned that crafting was how you like made it far in that game like yeah, I, I did a replay i did like a redo um and man i like leveled up real fast i was just crafting making like super op like bombs and stuff and and potions and whatever uh -huh. um also i'm i'm so afraid of kangaroos now because so it's real. the fact that that's actually a fact that Brad people said, know, I didn't know that. Brad said, "Don't kangaroos do that so they can lure that's animals and, and drown them?" That's so that scary. That was that was what the description of the picture said of the kangaroo. Yeah, in and the I water. didn't I didn't know if that was. I thought it was a true. joke because I was like, you know, it, so it sounds like a joke. Like, <laughs> like the kangaroos. Why would that lure animals? By the way, just what would what would an animal be? Would they I just guess be I guess that's why the. <laughs> The, the animals like why is there just a head? I guess in the, curiosity in the lake. killed the the cat. I don't know. Is that what the or, lore is? or maybe or maybe kangaroos are just like uh, like villains and like from like a movie like uh, Home Alone. You know they don't really like think a step ahead. They're just like I'm gonna stand in the lake and I'm just gonna stare and some someone's gonna come. I, I, mean, I can tell you works. humans won't, buddy. Humans are just gonna take <laughs> pictures and wonder why you're staring at them. I said kangaroos do that to predators who, who pursue them in the water. So, okay, do they, so, is it just a defense mechanism, or are they actual monsters? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it really? Is it really a defense mechanism when you have when you plot that far ahead? Like normal animals are like, I'm gonna climb okay. a tree, or I'm gonna drop this behind, or I'm gonna shoot this out of my body. No, kangaroos are like, I'm going to hide in a lake. 
And when he gets too close, I'm going to grab him by the head and drown him. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, I get that's it. That's like I an extra, it. that's an extra I get step. It. So you know it's what like I mean? a, okay. I get it. So you can plead self defense, though. It's like a very, it's a very yeah. strategic it's political It's a very move. strategic move, like to, to hide in a lake and then drown them. Um, uh, speaking of Australia, have you read any of Jane Harper's books? The Lost Man was amazing. She sounds familiar. I don't think I have, though. I usually remember author names, so I feel like if I had read yeah. her, I would know, but I don't think I have. Is she um, fiction, fantasy, some uh, other kind? Um... Hi, Anella! Oh, I miss Anella. you. Anella. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> yeah, we had... We had, uh, we had... Uh, a great Christmas. Um, I mean, I, you know. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was great. I had a great Christmas. <laughs> it was great. Uh, yep. I didn't. Hey, here's the thing, though. Um, I didn't lose my sense of taste, really. It's not as probably as strong as it usually would be. I don't have any smell, but I didn't lose my taste. So um, I was able to taste the dinner that we had, which was nice. Um, nice consolation prize, at least to be able to taste Christmas dinner. I'm a <laughs> demon, so uh, this particular he virus doesn't literally affect demons. didn't get sick at all, and I'm like, I don't understand. It doesn't affect demons. I don't understand because it's he. I just said it. I didn't. Yeah. I don't I, know what else I should say. You're a demon. I don't know. That's what I just said. You're, yeah, I'm agreeing. You're a demon. I don't know. Uh. Fiction mystery. Well, I do like mystery. So, are you recommending The Lost Man? Is that I think that's a recommendation. That's specific, is what's happening. But the, that's the, the specific. I can't talk. That's the specific. That's the Pacific. Book. That's the Pacific. Also, yeah, good point, Paul. Um, there is something about the fact that, like, I can step on an ant and probably die. That's also concerning. Yeah, I mean, no, don't don't get me wrong. I'm equally afraid of everything in Australia. I'm just saying, you know, that I get personally freaked are... out by things that are like on the same cognitive level as like humans and are definitely built to like they can definitely kill us. Like if I saw a kangaroo, knowing how smart it is and how big it is, I would be terrified because like what am I going to do? Like not that I'm not scared of like other animals, but there's like, you know, we have like, uh, you know, like tigers, things like that. They have like their own thing that they do. They have the way they work. Bears have the way they work. It feels like when kangaroos kangaroo are borrowing. Yeah, when a kangaroo, human. I feel like kangaroos are gonna look at me, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, bud!" And then like he's gonna reach into his pouch and pull a gun out, and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> listen, we could talk about this." Hey, Planet of the Apes, not not a joke. Brad. That's what I mean. Not a joke. Apes, yeah, chimps, chimps, and, apes, chimps, yeah. chimps and, and kangaroos need to chill out. They're too smart. Too smart. Like, even, like, elephants being as smart as they are. I really like but, elephants. No, but they're, like, large. <laughs> like, they, their bodies aren't, you know what I mean? It's yeah. different. It's different <laughs> than a kangaroo who could, like, probably outrun me if I tried to run from him. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> like, like it, don't they say, oh, to, like, avoid kangaroo attacks, you have to not act scared? That's, that's that. For, no, you already. That's for most animals. No, I but like. no, but it says like don't try to run because they'll like they'll beat you up. Then well, that's that's don't tell me that because that that animals blacklisted on my list. I don't ever want to see that animal. Um, what about snakes and crocodiles and oh, I'm equally scared. All scared. All yeah, scared. crocodiles snakes, are scary. I'm de don't get me wrong. I'm definitely scared of snakes, but I can deal with snakes probably as a little bit better. As long as you don't better. get bit by like a really bad one. yeah i mean i i'm not talking about domesticated snakes that are like oh, okay. you know um because my cousin used to have a lot of snakes and i never was one to buy <laughs> or own a snake but i could deal with like touching one or you know having one on me probably it probably wouldn't be that bad for me um <clears throat> in this world there's a book set in its version of australia there was a list of the non-deadly wildlife some of the sheep I get the feeling it's the same in the real life Australia. Yeah, probably. This world, that's another one that I really need to get into, but it's very intimidating Tank because Girl. it's so long. Have not watched Tank Girl. Um, Tank Girl. Is that a comic? 
kind of sounds maybe like it might be a comic. And uh, I recommend The Winter People and The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. Oh, okay. I actually own The Winter People. It was on my um, TBR <laughs> a few years ago because um, I wanted to read it for my senior project as like inspiration, but I never got to. But now it's winter, so maybe it's a good time. Might be it's a good time to maybe. give that a try. That's a gorilla too. Absolutely. Gorillas. And and fish and any animal bigger than me. We definitely both share that fear. I think most people probably have that fear, except for like scuba the divers, because they're crazy. Ocean is but like, terrifying. But like I'm scared of that like that image you've probably seen where you're like swimming and there's a whale under you. I would <clears throat> it, <laughs> I can't. Like I can't the idea of like something huge being underwater and me not knowing it's there. Yeah, I'm not a big ocean person for that reason. Yeah. Um, I I like. There's also scary stuff <laughs> under there. There's ju it's just as scary. <laughs> Same concept. Things that like hide on the dark and then they wait for something to come by and then just grab it. Like any anything that's like I'm just gonna wait for something also, and then immediately kill it. Also, like the ocean, like the beach, like jellyfish. Yeah. Jelly. Even if they don't kill you, I don't want to feel the pain of a jellyfish sting. Like nope. that's. Ugh. Yeah. Um, well, also, if we're also talking about animals, we're scared of fish and any animal. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Weird kangaroo love going on there. I think in Tank Girl, she means. Oh, well, I and mean... baby kangaroos, baby kangaroos are cool, but like, but like most baby anything, they don't know better yet. They're like adorable, and you can like know observe their own them. Strength. Yeah, <laughs> when they become like a full-grown kangaroo, they're all of a sudden something clicks, and they're like, "I can drown things." I can kill things. I can wait in the water and drown my predators. Like <laughs> I can wait in the water. Is that like an it, like a like an ingrained like an um, instinct? Instinct. It has like... to be. Where would they? They didn't learn that from us. It has to be some kangaroo somewhere like adapted and was like, you know what? Enough. Enough is enough. And he like started showing them. He's like doing a training class with the other kangaroos. <laughs> He's like, you just like shoved their head into the water. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> um, I'd cry. I'd also, I'd also cry, indeed. Michael said, "Have you read Old Bones by Preston and Child?" No. What is that? That sounds very cool. By the way, speaking of cool sounding and, and looking books, I've been seeing this thing on TikTok of a book that like comes in this mysterious black like box mm -hmm. and it has all this like gold filigree and it has like. Like it's covered in this paper and this wax seal, and like um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll show you a video of it, but it's uh, it's been it's a small trend on book talk that I've been seeing lately, and I am really tempted to get that book because it's really really cool looking. I'll show it to you. You'll probably want it after I show it to you. It, it looks like it looks I like, like um, what's it called? Octopus. Octopus. <sighs> Um, Lovecraft. Love, yeah, it looks very Lovecraftian. Oh, I'll, sh I'll show it to you. Cthulhu, very gothic, my lord. Very gothic Cthulhu, my lord looking. and savior. Hey, maybe that's why I didn't get COVID. Ooh. Because I talk about Cthulhu a lot. I'm spreading his word. Well, what would if you were? Can okay, you see my third eye? If Cthulhu was the reason why you didn't get COVID, why would Cthulhu even choose you as a follower? I'm I'm a potential follower. So he's keeping you safe in case he decides to induct you. Yeah, he's keeping me safe until he needs my brain, and then I'm gone. Then, then I'm just gone. What is, oh, because I will see him, and you've seen Bird Box. That's precisely what happens to people who know too much. But yes. we're safe right now because I'm actually pretty dumb. So I know that I'm not. <laughs> what? I know that I'm not too much of an acolyte yet. So I haven't unlocked the secrets of the world. I don't really know what's going on anymore. Oh my gosh. Shark. Have you read The Demon King by Sin... Oh, I just... <laughs> Williams... Chima? Chima? I'm trying to pick out books for readathon. Um, not have not read that book. Again, I own that book. Um, but... Fight in it. I have really, really wanted to start it. Because it's like a classic fantasy. Um, but I also want to read the, is it the Seven Realms series um, by 
N.K. Jemison, is that what it's called? I, I've wanted to start that one for a while because I've heard, it's gotten all these awards and stuff and I still haven't read it. If the prompt is a battle, have you looked in, just quick question, have you looked into Red Rising? I feel like I'm like an evangelist for Red Rising. You are. That's why, that's, this is why Cthulhu has inducted him because he, he just, he fights for what he loves. Yeah, I, I find like my favorite things and then I just evangelize. But have you, seriously, Rocket, have you looked into Red Rising? I now say the, the phrase looked into because I used to say, have you read Red Rising? And that just red, doesn't red, roll rising. off. Red, red. You have it if you have not read it. You should read it. it you is one should of my read it. Because if you're looking for a battle, I mean, wow. Yeah, it's really, really good. That's an amazing book. It's got land battle and space battle. Land battle, space sea battle. battle and it's almost, it's almost, don't kill me anyone because I love Star Wars, but it's almost like a better like space opera story <laughs> than Star is Wars. Is it considered a space opera? Someone said something like that. Like they compared it. Like it like I'm just saying if you're looking for like world building and like a space, you know, like he Pierce Brown builds like an entire universe, which I thought was kind of impossible because there's just so much sci-fi out there and like so much like high fantasy space that I'm like it's kind of cluttered. Yeah. But like it is nothing like Star Wars and it is literally like just on its own and I love it. Mm -hmm. Uh jellyfish. jellyfish. You're gonna pee on it for me, right? I mean, like I'd be I don't know why I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I can't do that for you. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Australia is cursed. It's it's Australia is this. It's weird cursed thing. with beauty. Yeah. And the coolest animals in the world. And also equally blessed or cursed with the absolute worst things that you can imagine. Yeah. Like I want to see a koala so bad. Like I want to hold a koala. I want to go to They're Australia so very bad. Oh yeah. Um, I just I am aware that there is danger there. Yeah, like I'm but, not looking forward to seeing a know. bee that's like the size of my phone flying <laughs> around. Oh hi, hi, Helly. Oh Helly. Oh Helly. It's me, Oh Helly. It's me. It's me, Oh Helly. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Scared of whales underneath you, but likes the idea of a giant tentacle. <laughs> I know, Listen, right? Man. I know. It makes no sense. Maybe that's why I'm afraid of the ocean. Maybe, maybe, like, really secretly, if I went out into the ocean, I'm afraid of the idea that he would he would come out of the water. Hey, there's nothing. Nothing's impossible. I'm sure, there's something down there. Nothing's impossible when it comes to Cthulhu. Nothing's impossible. He can do all things. <laughs> I, am a I am a true acolyte. He can do all things. Um. I will I wash my car and I will keep, keep the, the kangaroo kangaroos away. away. Hey, I'm all for it. I saw a video where a guy just punched one in the face and he stopped bothering his dog. Would you do that so, for us, John? Would yeah, you would punch you a punch kangaroo a kangaroo in the face? If a kangaroo is holding me in a headlock, would you just punch it? See, no, see, that's that's a perfect... Okay, real quick, real sidetrack, okay? If they wait in the water to, to drown pursuers, why was that kangaroo choke holding that man's dog? They're just violent. They are. They, they are. They. I doubt that. I mean, that dog maybe barked at it, but I doubt it did anything to that kangaroo to cause it to hold him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um. But, but yes, definitely have, read it, Rocket. Does it have someone as cute as Baby Yoda? What were we talking about? Red Rising. It. Uh yeah, actually, but in a in a big big boy in a big way. boy way in yeah. a big boy no, way. So yes, yes. We'll just leave it in there. a big boy way. It has in a it. big boy way, they got a big, cute baby Yoda. Um, how expensive was your classic books collection? Oh my gosh, uh, uh, thousands. That was before you know. I I, it's not yeah my mom's. It's my mom's collection, so I I don't really know the exact number. I just know that it has to be in the thousands. Uh. -uh. So it's going to be rough to continue that collection. <laughs> oh, do they have diseases on them? Oh, I didn't know that was a Chlamydia? thing. Chlamydia? Chlamydia from a koala. Why? I don't is know. that like a really common thing or is that just like a maybe a thing that could happen? Or is that like if you hold a koala? <laughs> you, they scratch you? Why? I just one of my dreams is to just be like chilling with a koala, just like both of us eating eucalyptus. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? Just both of us eating eucalyptus, you know, just chilling. 
It's a joke. <laughs> but I do want to cuddle with a koala. Um, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll bathe it. There you go. You're the best. Is bath. that the Give problem? A koala bath. Is that the problem? It needs to be bathed. Is that who knows? I don't think so. Who knows? I don't know if it's the bathing issue. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Which part are you envisioning? I don't. I like koalas a lot, but I would not. You know, you not... wouldn't hold a koala. I would I hold, hold a, one. I would I'd hold a koala, one. but you know. Have you seen koalas with like, <clears throat> with like, uh, like baby koalas? Like they're just like latched onto their head or something. Like they're <laughs> literally just like it's. They like turn and look at you, and they both look exactly the same, but one small. And they're just like riding on each other's yeah, I mean, backs. They're cute. they're cute. They are. They they're are. little. They're little. They're little bears. Yeah. How do you feel about holding a sloth? Oh my gosh, would die for that. You would die for. I, you would I, die yeah, to hold I would a sloth? literally, if 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 someone was holding a gun to my head and they were like, <laughs> if the you, only if thing you, you pick, need to do to survive is not is hold not this koala. Is not pick up that sloth. I'd be like, oh, I love you, babe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're so cute too. John said we only have seven out of ten deadly snakes in the world. Only oh, seven. Only seven. Only seven. Well, in that case, that case, you know. I know, Brad. That's that's what I'm thinking. They yeah. have like so do, I've so heard slaws. Obviously, their nails are well, because like you can imagine, like you know, dogs and cats. Like sometimes they move or like do something weird, and like they're not trying to hurt you, but like you know, their claws hit you. I can't imagine <laughs> a koala just like twitching, and just like, oh man. But then I have a cool battle scar, so I don't know. This is a win-win, uh, guys. I'm gonna get a koala. This is what's happening. Also, if you didn't know, and I've never said it on stream before or anything, my favorite animal in the world is a koala. If you couldn't guess by me talking about a koala as much. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we, yeah. Um, spiders in Australia is enough to put me off. Are they all the size of plates out there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know the personally, The size but... of plates. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what plate you're talking about. Like, like a plate... That could fit any just about anything is too big for a Even spider. Even the to size be. of like a soy dish would yeah, be enough too, to, to scare me. It's too big. It's too big for a spider to be. That's for sure. Google wet koalas still find them cute. Is that the link that they sent in the chat? Wet koala. Wet koala. Old Bones is a mystery horror novel. Preston and Child also wrote the Relic, which was made into a movie. Yeah, I know that one. They have a new book called Scorpion's Tale coming out next month, and I can't wait to read. Ooh, I like mystery horror. Oh no! Ah! Oh my gosh! That koala just looks really upset. Oh god! I don't think they like being wet. Oh, so you can't bathe them? So we. Oh, but look at! Come on, man! I'm showing this picture to everyone. This is the picture right here, guys. This is this is what I'm here for. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! What do I have to do? What do I have to do here? I'll save it. I'll save the picture. There we go. This is the content you're all on this stream for. Look at that, man. He's just having a good time. He's really, he's just chilling. Yeah. He but is. man, those claws. Oh my goodness. They look like they file them. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> when I screamed at the wet koala, they're terrifying. I don't like them. I don't know if you were also look. You were specifically telling me to look at that picture where it was like. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that was kind of scary to see. I mean, I I like have... any animal. Even if I saw a groundhog and I was like, "Aw," and then he went, <sighs> I'd be like, "Okay." Well. And back off. Have you seen? Have you seen uh, possums? Google shaved bear. Do it now. Google shaved, shaved bear. bear. Actually, I've seen a shaved what? bear. I want to see I've it. seen a shaved bear before. Oh man. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like oh my gosh, it looks like that thing from from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> I, oh no. 
<laughs> that wasn't no! nice. It's not nice. <laughs> it, it looks like a giant rat from like a fantasy game. <laughs> it it literally looks like a gigantic rat. That looks like that looks like something that would be in like a... Does does do most things have rat faces and we just don't realize that? Why is it shaved? Is that Why is it shaved? They become the scariest thing you've ever seen. I don't know. Ugh. Yikes. Yeah, that's uh Is anything cute just because it has hair and then they get they shave the hair off and they become Here's for people. anyone that wants to see what a bottom heavy rat monster looks like. <laughs> oh, God. Forget what I said about koalas. This is this is what I wanna own. That is what you want. I wanna own a shaved bear. That's absolutely atrocious. Absolutely. It does look like the chupacabra. <laughs> that probably is what it was. <laughs> they bear. spotted the chupacabra. It was literally just some animal shaved. <laughs> Do they have bears in Mexico? I don't know. Do they have bears in Mexico? We have some weird stuff. Why do we have armadillos? I'm not saying they don't for sure. I'm just asking. Do they have bears in Mexico? You know? <sighs> okay, Paul. Question. I disagree with you there. Cats are adorable without fur. Have you seen hairless the hairless cats. things? Hairless. I oh, love hairless cats. They're majestic. Cats. They're so majestic. They're so... They're majestic. Oh, but you know what's not cute? Not nearly as cute as Disney made it seem. Uh, of naked mole rats. Oh, naked mole rats. They're, are... they're scary to look at. Naked mole rats are like not even... We were so excited to see that at the zoo and then we saw one and we were just like, oh they no. They look like a germ. They look like they're not even supposed to be like I don't know. They're just they're just this disgusting. I wouldn't go as far as her calling a living creature. <laughs> it looks like it's not supposed to a be germ. like a thing. It looks like it I don't know. It just it's there's really, really gross. Chupacabra is a featherless owl. Man, you guys are just these these are all experiments gone wrong. Is it experiments or why are people taking oh my god. I why? Okay, it's at least not alive. Oh. Wait, it's like a... Is it featherless or meatless? Oh, that is just... That is just... um. Oh. That's that's the stuff of my nightmares. I have actual goosebumps. Wow. Show that to them. Wow. Um, oh. Uh. oh. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh. That looks that looks like an alien. That looks like what birds look like on alien planets. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> um, Moles are weird. Have you guys read the Discworld series? No, but I have been meaning to um it's just yeah, it's just I know that there are so many of them and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think at one point they did have bears in Mexico, but that was like hundreds of years ago. These are just like, <laughs> what is even happening with this animal? <laughs> maybe, maybe they shaved all the bears, and um, now they just don't look like bears anymore. Well, uh, quick callback: if anyone's played, uh, if anyone's played, <laughs> if anyone's played, um, oh, oh my. my. Goodness. What are we doing to ourselves? Oh, no. um, if anyone's played <laughs> the Fallout uh, games, uh, the reason I've seen what a hairless bear looks like is because I've seen a Yaogwai. I think that's what it's called, a Yaogwai. And um, I remember wondering what animal it was because it just was like this radioactive, hairless, just patchy looking freak. And I was like, what is this thing? Is it a werewolf or something? And then like, I eventually found out that the Yao Guai was a, was a bear. So I kind of knew how scary they could look. Apparently also the the creators of uh, Fallout knew. <laughs> Fallout 3, they were like, yep, we know what a hairless bear looks like. We're going to put that in the game. <laughs> Kangaroo steak is amazing, John. John, you're kidding, right? John, are you joking? But they're but they're like deer. John, they're are like, you joking? No, they're like Australian deer. John, are you kidding? Deer. Please. They're How do you, like Australian what do you even? Deer. Which part do you eat? I don't. Which part? They're all muscle. What their you... tail. Oh. 
<laughs> Are you joking, John? <laughs> you can't eat them. The, the, the violins will infect you. How is it that you can read so fast, Paige? Um, What's your secret? Um, I don't really read that fast. Well, no. If I am reading, I can read fast. But if I'm not I'm in the mood, then... I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Trish is Googling and then we're Googling and, and showing. We just want to remind you. Hey, I just want to point out that we were not the ones that brought up shaved bears. So listen, you guys wanted this. You guys wanted the shaved animals. Hey, uh, listen, John, uh, we'll come on over. I'll wash your car and we'll, we'll share it. We'll go in and get some kangaroo steak. I would try it. I, I, I can't try. Call me a monster. I can't try kangaroo Is this where steak. I lose all of my my Troy fans? I can't. I can't try kangaroo steak. I can't do that. I just can't. The thought of it, like, what am I eating? Is bicep? Like, is muscular? Ew. That's the thing, though. That's like, <laughs> that's the animal you eat the steak of. Like, I would rather eat that than eat like, like a horse, which would be terrible. Like, I couldn't. I, I couldn't bring one. myself to eat a horse. How about just neither one of them? I could. No, I'll eat a kangaroo. Why? To assert know. dominance? Why? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll eat a kangaroo in front of a kangaroo so he knows. Oh. I don't don't okay. you dare. And then and then and then one day I'll be like walking like to our hotel in Australia and you'll like be in the hotel room like waiting for me to come back with drinks or something and there's going to be a kangaroo and he's just going to be eating a very undiscernible meat. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh. Did he, did he eat me? Are you saying he no? Ate me? He's eating a human, not you. I bet it was me. If you if you no, ate a kangaroo, I man. bet they get revenge and they eat me. I just see kangaroos in like tuxes standing outside the door. I'm like, no. Yeah. He's like, come and sit you down. Killed me. He's he, they just nod because they can't talk to me. I open the door. You're you're tied up. <laughs> like, yeah. And they're just wait. He's standing by <laughs> by you. And you're in the, you're near the tub. Oh, <laughs> They're God. like, this is the only thing we ever learned to do. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> is drown. One things. of them's in the tub. <laughs> oh no! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat kangaroo. I can't okay, do good. it. I can't do it. Don't kill me in our own hotel tub. <laughs> I can't do it after that story. Oh, I saw my life flash. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with you, Paul and Brad? What's wrong with you? Yeah, guys, don't do it. It's not worth it's it. It's not worth it. If you have people you care they'll about, drown they'll, they'll the get loved dr- ones, they'll your get, loved ones. They'll find and kill everyone you know. They're smart enough to know how to drown their predators. Yeah, Paul, I think it's definitely perspective. And it's just the it's just the, the mood that I'm in. I can read really, really fast, or I can read really, really slow. It just depends on... And the positioning. Hell yeah. Did like, it... like if I'm, like, laying in the bed, I'm, like, out. But if I'm, like, sitting at a table... Well, and also, um, it's like... It's like my body will decide whether I can or I can't. Like, if I, if I am in a state where I can get an easy headache, then there's no way I'm going to be able to read fast because if i read you know for too long then i just get a headache and then yeah. stop so it's my body's decision i guess john stop don't eat the kangaroo don't it's not eat worth it. it you must stop but brad for sure yes i've had alligator many times i've had the i actually we we i think we shared part of this like on on the first stream actually like when someone asked how we met oh but uh i used to live in orlando yeah uh so i definitely <laughs> Definitely tried me some gator, and I like it. I like gator jerky and gator meat in I general. I don't know. I've had the chance. I went to Gatorland. It's not bad. With you, yeah. Um, I probably uh wouldn't, but it was an option available to me. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it would be like tough. I don't know. Mm-mm. It's not. No, really. No. Does it taste like fish or t- chicken? I can't or? even really think of uh. What like, exactly it tastes does like? It tastes salty. Is it like a... a little bit? Well, I mean, like it's jerky, so. Well, I don't mean jerky. People eat it as like nuggets and stuff, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't had gator nuggets. It's not bad though. I would actually try. I if you haven't tried, I will. I would 
say it would be worth it to try. It's not. It's not on the same like. What's the texture like? Is it like a fishy it's texture? It's not tough. Or, no. Or is it like a chicken texture? Yeah, or... it's like chicken. It's like a chicken texture. Is I'm it not kidding. Pale. Like what? White? Is it like white? Or I it have like... not had like gator in that form. I've had it like in. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. I've had it in like the form of like jerky, <clears throat> and like stuff like that. Oh well. I don't know. I, I mean, haven't had, I haven't like cut it. into like a gator steak. I'd have to steak. see it first. I could probably deal more with the jerky than the other kind, but I would mm -hmm. probably still want to try like regular alligator meat. Which yeah. Would be like nuggets. Thanks, Paul. Let's get some gator nuggets. <laughs> Everything is compared to chicken. I agree, but I mean, um, you know, you can't beat the universal nature of chicken. <laughs> if it's not beef, it's chicken. John has also had crocodile. Is there a difference between gator and crocodile taste wise, John? Just want to know. Just curious. Um, Paul said, Look at it this way. I read a Joe Amber Crowley book 500 plus <coughs> pages in a week, but it took a month to read Return of the King, and it's only just over. Exactly. And it just, it just, there's so many variables. It's, so, yeah. It's, yeah. Like I busted through the first two books of the Grisha trilogy for some reason. Not even sure why that happened. Uh, I finished them both within, like, I think the same week. And now I'm just stuck on the third one. Yeah, it's just I don't know. There's so many variables that it's hard to. That's why. Um, that's why I'll never judge anybody for like reading whatever they want because there are certain, like when you're in a reading slump, you don't want to go into like Moby Dick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You gotta. You there's sometimes you have to read things that are just entertaining that are like really fast paced that maybe aren't like good literature but they are like they'll get you out of a slump and you'll read them faster so that you don't just stall and get thrown into a slump um everything is always compared to chicken i know i know every, everything is compared to chicken i just don't i just can't imagine you know the texture it's you know i'm just wondering you know um gator nuggets are good rocket said i trust i do trust your opinion rocket but how do you know <laughs> Where did you Probably eat them? Eating gator nuggets. Where did, no, but where did you eat them though? Like, what? Where were they made? Yeah, what kind of gator? Like, were they? Yeah. I would like what to kind, know what that. What place made these gator nuggets? Did you make the gator nuggets? And if so, where did you get the gator meat? <laughs> these are all questions that I have. She hunted a gator. Thanks, John. Chicken. He said it's like chicken. Okay. Okay, I like chicken. What trilogy? Me or her? Did I? Did you say you were You're, reading a trilogy, or is it me? Well, you were reading the Grisha. Yeah, the Grisha, the Grisha verse. Uh, we're, I think we're reading the same thing. Isn't that what you said, Paul? Or no? Who, who yeah, was reading? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm reading any series right now. Oh, I started a lot of series. In my okay. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, I'm reading the the Grisha trilogy. Um, when in doubt, read smut. Absolutely, I definitely agree. Hey, romance will get you out of a bit, out of a slump. I'll tell you that. Uh, thankfully, despite the terrible situation in the world and being in and out. Of work, books and my dog have really helped me through this year. Yeah, uh, for sure. If it wasn't for, like, booktube and reading and, like, video games and all of my, like, at-home activities, um, I definitely probably would not be okay right now. Uh, uh, Paul said Troy. Well, he was... He oh, was okay. <laughs> I was like, why did he say his name? What are, what are we reading? Um, what are you reading right now? I'm still in Ruin and Rising. My plans are... I don't know. What do you think? Should I dig into one of the newer books? I think you should. Well, and not and like, how much, long, how well, much more do you have? Okay. Well, no, no, no. I was going to read Ruin and Rising because I don't have that much left. But I was going to say after that, should I dig into one of the new, new books or should I jump into Iron Gold? Um, I... Uh, I don't know. Uh... I mean, I think that you could. I don't know yeah. how to get rid of. Alligator is one animal. I mean, yeah, that's partly why I would. Uh, I would eat alligator. Um, that's part. That's why I would eat uh, kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. Why? Because they're cold blooded. <laughs> why? They're murderers. Why? <laughs> They, they know what they're doing. I don't understand why that makes a difference. <laughs> That's, did you read the comment? 
Um, They're cold blooded, so he has no remorse eating alligator. I have no remorse eating kangaroo. I guess. I guess whatever gets you through. You know what I mean. Yeah. Whatever. We were talking about the books we're reading. Then. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. So I started this book right before I got sick, and I'm not the. I just. I can't really read stuff when I'm sick for some reason. I just can't focus, and I usually have a headache anyway. So, I started this, and I even before I got sick, I wasn't, I just don't know if I was in the mood for it or not. It's not that it's like a bad book or something or anything. I literally was like a few pages in and I just like was not, I was not working with it very well, but um, I don't know if I'll continue trying to read that book or if I will go ahead and try something else. I'm kind of interested in that new Aaron Morgenstern book. I can't remember what it's called. Um, a starless sea or something i'm kind of interested in that book i don't know i can't really the problem i'm having right now is that i don't know what i'm in the mood for um like i don't even know if i'm in the mood for fantasy i, I don't know what's going on so i actually i have been looking at the mysteries and like horrors on my bookshelf um and i actually already before anello mentioned it i was thinking about reading the winter people because it's winter it's seasonal i thought maybe it'd be cool to read that mm -hmm. right now so, I don't know. I might just kind of have to dabble around a little bit and see what kind of strikes my interest because I don't know if this book has really done that or not. Um, alligator is one animal I would... Oh, they're yeah. cold. Yep. A, C, and H. A, C, and H. A, C, and H. What is that? A, C, and H. What is that? I know that acronym for something. A, C, and H. I can't remember what that is. Uh, please tell me what that is i can't remember <laughs> uh i've managed to finish quite a lot of book series that's awesome my problem is that i start a lot of book series and then i only finish like a couple of them and then i'm just i go my whole entire life wondering you know what could have happened what what happened in that series i could have finished oh okay i read ahead but it's animal crossing new horizons what? Animal Crossing New Horizons. Is oh, yeah. right. Yeah, that was a very that was a nice. It was a nice. Yeah, I, it saved period. the day. It came like right as uh, as the pandemic hit and everyone was sent home and stuff. Yeah. Um, Paul. Yes, yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. That reveal uh, hit me too, especially. Uh, yeah, I would just I I would I would definitely read through the. Uh, the trilogy and then if you haven't already jump into uh i was gonna say counting crows <laughs> like the band <laughs> uh six of crows and crooked kingdom let's listen to some of them when we're done with this counting crows yeah it's been a while that's so random but sure <laughs> um yeah it's always good to take a break if you're yeah. feeling burnout reading oh. reading is awesome um but we shouldn't let it become a uh, chore or like a pressure, you know. Uh, what I'm feeling like pages feeling in terms of reading, I find reading a favorite. So Pratchett helps. That is true. I could do with maybe some rereading. I was thinking about reading Omens. I've been talking about rereading Omens forever. Uh, but, you know, that would be a reread, which would be like a comfort thing for me. And then maybe I could continue the series, which would be great. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We own Six of Crows. Here's oh, man. Book three is really good, Paul. You, you're you're going to enjoy it. Uh, if Especially if you're like enjoying book two a little bit. Um, I, I feel like she really, really steps up to like kind of like the kind of writing she brings in the Six of Crows uh, okay. in book three. Rune and Rising is a really good book. Yeah. Uh, I just haven't read it because I just have been unmotivated. <laughs> do it. Um, did not like Six of Crows. Should I try it again? I don't know. I mean, it depends on do you typically like fantasy? Do you, you know. I would also say... It's worth noting it's not enough just to read Six of Crows for, like, the full effect of, like, that particular, like, just plot. Uh, you do need to read Crooked Kingdom. 
Yeah. Because I feel like I feel like it leads in like you know that sounds dumb, but like some books in a series, I feel like you can read and be like, oh man, that book was amazing, like all on its own. And I enjoyed Six of Crows, but like uh, Crooked Kingdom complemented it like very well. Like I could read Red Rising, like the first book, like a million times. Yeah. Because I just like that book as a standalone book. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it just depends on do you typically like fantasy? If you don't yeah. typically, then you know, maybe it's just not a thing. For the TV series, we'll combine the initial trilogy and Six of Crows from the outset. Yeah. I have also, and I figured that's probably the way it's going to be since I have the whole Six of Crows casted. That's partly why I uh, immediately jumped into the trilogy as well. Yeah. Just so I can get caught up. Because as long as I read like this last book, I should be good on knowing everything that's going on. And I could be, we could both be all excited like, oh, that's oh, that's oh. Look at that. That's that. <laughs> that's that. Um, well, guys, I, as you might be able to tell, I'm getting a little bit stuffy so i'm going to sign off and yes they are yes, hi, they... La hi lady tira <laughs> they are <laughs> making a series uh yeah. they have like they they have been in like post-production for like forever and they have like a set date now and um they like put out like a teaser yeah it's called shadow and bone like after the first book mm -hmm. but you know it's it's gonna have both of those all the all of them the universes all of them. all of them. But yeah. Good night guys. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys Thanks so much for, for coming. In. Yeah. Uh it was really great to uh get some social interaction. Um yes. if you haven't already, like and you have a Discord, join my Discord channel. I kind of like I made it and then I got sick, so it kinda of, like I didn't do anything with it, but it, you know, I made it so that, you know, maybe we could play games every now yeah, and then. Yeah, play Among Us. And if there's any, like, games, like, we both have Steam. So if yeah. there's anything that you suggest you that's, like, that sounds... We also have Gary's Mod. <laughs> we do. So, yeah, I made, so, yeah, there's tons made of the games Discord channel um, so that, you know, we could play those Ooh, games. Ooh, also want to mention this. Sorry, but Civ 6. If anyone plays oh. Civilization, oh. we also have Civ 6. And that would be really yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, we just have to. We're gonna organize those things. Um, we just need to like grow the the Discord a little bit. Um, so if you haven't already, pop over there and, and join. All right. All right, my dog's coming, so that means uh, his nails gonna be clicking for the end of this stream. <laughs> it's our outro music. <laughs> da, 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 da. Good night, Later, everybody. Guys. We don't play Rocket League. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>